Are you ready? Ready! Are you ready, Z? Great. Follow me. We're gonna climb some trees. Buzz with the bees. We'll squeeze through a hole with ants and a mole. We're gonna paint and scribble and splash and dribble. What you got there, Z? Uh, it's a picture of me. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's play! Everybody shout hooray! Hooray! I'm using my noggin today. Oh yeah! I'm using my noggin today. We're gonna count to ten. And back to one again. Watching numbers zoom all around the room. The alphabet is here. From A to Z. Wanna meet them all? It's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's play! Everybody shout hooray! Hooray! I'm using my noggin today. Oh, yeah! I'm using my noggin today. Well, we're all here together. There's you, and there's me, and over there is Z. Hey, Z, isn't this great? Z, I'd love to see you so excited, Z. I'm getting a little sleepy. Hi, just a little. Wake up! Wake up! Hmm. Wake, Wake up! up. What? Huh? Oh, it's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's play! Everybody shout hooray! Hooray! I'm using my noggin today. Oh, yeah. I'm using my noggin today. I'm using my noggin today. Oh me! We're gonna climb some trees. Buzz with the bees. We'll squeeze through a hole with ants and a mole. We're gonna paint and scribble and splash and dribble. What you got there, Z? <laughs> it's a picture of me. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's play. Everybody shout hooray. hooray! There's only one thing to say. Oh, yeah. My favorite day is well today. We're gonna count to ten. And back to one again. Watching numbers zoom all around the room. The alphabet is here from A to Z. Wanna meet them all? Just follow me. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's play. Everybody shout hooray. hooray! There's only one thing to say. Oh, yeah. My favorite day is today. Well, we're all here together. There's you, and there's me, and over there is Z. Hey, Z, isn't this great? Z, I love to see you so excited, Z. I'm getting a little sleepy. Just a little. Ooh. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! What? Oh, it's gonna be a fantastic day. Let's play! Everybody shout hooray. hooray! There's only one thing to say. Oh, yeah! My favorite day is today. My favorite day is today. Step right up, friends. My boogie woogie birdie buddy wants to teach us a little dance. Okay, Z, show us step one. Nice. Let's try it. Step one is jump. Show us step two. Step two, clap two times. Looking good. Now step three. Step three is twirl around. <laughs> that last step's a doozy. That is to say, a bit tricky. Let me see if I have this straight. Step one, jump. Step two, uh, do you remember what the next step is? Clap two times. Clap two times. That's right, clap two times. Now, step three, uh, what is step three? Twirl around. Twirl around. Right you are, twirl around. You know all the steps to this delightful dance. Say, what do you call this dance anyway? The mashed potato? The smashed potato with gravy, of course. Nice name. Wow, wow, Wubsy is next. The tree.
trees are bare, the lake is frozen. Our whole town is glazed with ice. But me, I'm feeling toasty. Me, I'm feeling nice. Though the temperature is low, it's mighty cold, you might say freezing. Now I'm going to tell you why winter's the wonderfulest season. Bundle up, get fully woolly, gotta keep from getting frozy. Don't forget your socks, kids, gotta keep those toesies cozy. Put on your sweater and your mittens and all that warm, right stuff. Let's get ready to go outside and play in all of that white stuff. Snow angels to make, snowballs to throw. If you get hit, give them some quick pro quo. Oh, so many reasons why winter is fun. Now hop onto that big red sled or ride that old toboggan. Hey there, kids, watch out below. You best be minding your noggin. Why not make some snowmen, some big round frosty fellows? We'll go inside the cocos there, nice and hot and with marshmallows. Catch a snowflake. Don't stop at one on the tip of your nose or on your tongue. Oh, so many reasons why winter is fun. Though there are some finicky folks who prefer a sweltery season. I say keep your blossoms, your birdies, and your bees. And it's this sweatery season that I truly adore. Winter is a wonderland. Who could ask for anything more? You know, in all this dancing and prancing, I've forgotten what the last step is in Z's smashed potato with gravy dance. First, we jump. Second, we clap two times. But remind me, what's the last step? Could you get up and show me? Twirl around. Twirl around. That's it. Way to move. Wow, Z. Talk about moves. Get down with your downy self. Wow, wow, Wubsy is next. Dino Dan is coming up next. But first, let's go to the Little Letter Playground. Welcome to the Little Letter Playground. This is where all the little lowercase letters of the alphabet come to play. Isn't that right, guys? Whee! Hey, look! It's Big S. Hi, Big S. Salutations. I have a savory snack for little S. If you see her, could you send her over? Sure thing. Big S has a snack for little S. Help Z look for little S. Where is little S? Right there, in the sandbox. Right there, yeah. Little S is standing in the sandbox. Sensational. Come on over here, little S. Big S has a snack for you. What kind of snack did Big S bring for little S? A sandwich. Right, a sandwich. Boy, Big S and little S sure do look alike. Oh, here comes another letter. Which letter is this? B. It's Big B. It's Big B, right. Don't go away. We need to help Big B find Little B when we come back. Welcome back to the Little Letter Playground. This is Big B. Bonjour, Moose and Z. I brought a bite to eat for Little B. Could you help me find him? We'd be delighted. Big B needs you to help her look for Little B. When you see Little B come down the slide, say, Little B! Little B! Beautiful! You found Little B! Say, what is Big B giving to Little B? A banana! Big B is giving Little B a banana. Oh, and looky there. Here comes another big letter. Which letter is this? It's a G. Big G. It's Big G. I bet she's here to find Little G. We can help her when we come back. Don't go anywhere. This month, winter is a wonderland. Let's bundle up and brave
save the weather. I can't wait to use my slippery sled. Go outside and make something together. Our snow bed is looking good. We'll play all day with sleds, skis, and skates. Wanna play goalie, Dad? When we're done, hot chocolate awaits. I feel warmer already. Winter is a wonderland all month long on Nick Jr. Greetings. I was just telling Big G how gifted you are with finding little letters. Now let's go get little G for Big G. Good luck. Help Z and me find the little G. Do you see little G? Right, right there. there, on the swings. This one? Is this little G? No, that's little Q. The other one is little G. This one? That's little G. Gee whiz! You found little G. And what snack is Big G giving little G? Grapes! Gadzooks! It's a bunch of grapes! Dino Dan is coming up next. But first, Z wants to read a story. What you got there, Z? A book? Look, the title of this book is The Princess Picks a Pet. It's a story about things that start with the letter P, like princess and pet. Z, would you like us to read you this story? Oh, Peachy. Now I need you to help me tell the story. Look at the pictures to help me figure out which words start with the letter P. <clears throat> the princess picks a pet. Once upon a time, there was a... Oh, here's something that definitely starts with the letter P. What is it? Princess. Mm -hmm. A princess. A princess. The word princess starts with the letter P. Mm -hmm. Let's keep reading. Once upon a time, there was a princess, and the one thing she really wanted was the perfect pet. I'd prefer a pet that starts with the letter P. Wow, she's very particular. Mm -hmm. So all the people in town brought possible pets for the princess to pick from. They lined up outside the princess's... Oh, here's another thing that starts with P. It's a tricky one. It's another word for castle. Palace! A palace. Palace starts with the letter P. You've done a great job helping me with P words. But the story isn't over yet. Stick around to find out what happens next. You're back. We're reading The Princess Picks a Pet. Now, where were we? Oh, right. The persnickety princess is picking a pet that starts with the letter P. Don't forget, I need your help with some of the P words. The princess took a peek at the possible pets. Here's the first pet that starts with the letter P. What is it? Pig. A pig. Here you go, princess. How about a pig? No, too pink. <laughs> hmm. Maybe she'll like this pet. What is this animal? A panda. A panda, precisely. How about a panda, princess? Mm, too puffy. I wonder, which pet will the princess pick? Mm. Don't go away. In just a moment, we'll find out precisely which pet the princess will pick. Hey, Z, I just brewed up another batch of my special Ho-Ho Cocoa. Would you like a... Oh, I think someone has holiday cheered themselves right to sleep. I wonder what warm and fuzzy dream Z is having. <laughs> Let's finish our story. The princess picks a pet. The princess kept peeping and peering at possible pets, but she didn't pick any of them. The porcupine was too prickly. The pony was too purple. And the piranha was too pointy. There was only one pet left. Oh, I think the princess just might prefer this pet. It's perky, it's pretty precious, and it starts with P. What is it? Puppy! That's right, a puppy. The princess pondered the puppy. Hmm, he's perfect. So, the princess picked the puppy for a pet, 
and they lived happily ever after. The and Dino Den is coming up next. But first, we have a job for the Eco Rangers. Eco Rangers Moose and Z reporting for duty. We're leaving the house for the afternoon. But before we take off, we have to make sure that everything's turned off. Exactly, Z. Leaving things on when no one is using them wastes power. Can you see anything we should turn off before we leave? The computer right there, the computer. That's right. We don't need the computer to be on when we're not here. Let's turn it off. This sounds like a job for Eco Rangers. Keeping the earth healthy, one click at a time. There's still more to turn off. We'll need your help when we come back. Eco Rangers, Moose and Z standing by. Greetings, Eco Rangers. Before we leave the house, we need to make sure we turn everything off so we don't waste power. Can you hear anything we should turn off? Listen, what is on that we should turn off? The radio. Turn off, turn off the radio. radio. The radio, of course. This sounds like a job for the Eco Rangers. Keeping the earth healthy, one click at a time. Great job. You're a conservation sensation. That means you sure are swell at saving power. Take a gander, ye guardians of green. We'll make sure everything is turned off when we get back. This month, we're throwing a warm and fuzzy holiday party. A tree, the halls, we'll deck them all. That's the best part of Christmas. Did you hear that? The carolers call. And a partridge in a pear tree. This season is merry, bright, and oh so jolly. Merry Christmas, Lenny. Let's celebrate together, by golly. <laughs> it feels good to share on Christmas. It's Nick Jr.'s warm and fuzzy holiday party. Moose here. Wonder Pets is coming up next. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Let's play a letter sounds game. We're looking for things in this picture that start with the letter L. The letter L makes the L sound. For instance, here's a lion. Lion starts with the L sound. Lion. Lion. Got it? Lovely. Let's look for more L words. I see a lizard. Lizard starts with the L sound. That's right. Lizard is something that starts with the L sound. Let's look for some more when we come back. We're looking for things that start with the L sound. Look closely. A leaf. Look, and there's a ladybug. Looks like you know your L words. We'll locate the rest when we come back. Hello again, my perceptive pals. We're on the lookout for things that start with the L sound. There are lots to locate. Do you see any? Log. Log starts with the L sound. Oh, a leopard. Leopard starts with L. Lovely. Log and leopard both start with the L sound. But I'm looking at one more. How about lamb? Lamb starts with L. Correctamundo! Lamb starts with the letter L. You are the liveliest bunch of L sound locators this moose has ever laid eyes on. Toot and Puddle is up next. Ahoy there, mateys! Welcome to the briny blue. That is to say, the ocean. Z and I swam here to count the things we see under the sea. Hey, look! Z found some seashells. How many seashells do you see? Let's count to find out. One, two, three, four. Four seashells. Nice counting. Ooh, what was that? Hey, an octopus. Hey there, octopus. Good question, Z. How many arms does the octopus have? Let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, eight arms. Stupendous counting, my friends. I knew I could count on you. Ha! Wonder Pets is up next. 
Sal the Sanitation Bear is here for a recycling rendezvous. Tonight's one of my favorite nights of the week, recycling night. Sal the Sanitation Bear is here to collect our recyclables, but we're still sorting them. That's right, we need your help. I'm picking up paper, plastic, and glass tonight. How about this magazine? Does it go with the paper, the plastic, or the glass? Paper, it goes with paper. Right on, little guys. Of course, the magazine is made of paper, so it goes in the paper bin. Perfectly pitched, Z. We've still got some more sorting to do. Help us out when we get back, cause you've really got the sorting knack. Hello there, we're sorting our recycling. Sal the sanitation bear, that's me, is lending a helping hand, the uh, paw. Looks like an empty yogurt container here. Where should we put this yogurt cup? In the paper bin, the plastic bin, or the glass bin? Plastic, put in the plastic bin. That's right. The yogurt cup is made of plastic, so it goes in the plastic bin. You really know your recyclables. Thanks, Z. You're a real cool bird. You know that? Ni Hao Kai Lan is coming up next. But first, let's take a peek at some paintings our pals have made. Beautiful! Hey! Brilliant brushwork! Mwah! Magnificent! Looking good, Henrietta. Thanks. I'm not finished yet. I still have to paint the sun right here. Oops. Oh, no. The yellow. I need that color to paint the sun. Now I'll never finish this picture. <sighs> Uh-oh. Look at Henrietta. Does she look happy to you? No. No. She's frowning. How do you think Henrietta is feeling? Sad. Yeah, Henrietta certainly looks sad. She must be sad because Z spilled her paint. I feel sad. Oh, Z doesn't look too happy either. We need to try to help Henrietta and Z feel better. Will you help me when we come back? Yes, I will. I will too. You are a fabulous friend. See you soon. Z and I are glad you're here. Our friend Henrietta is not a merry mole. She's sad because Z accidentally spilled her yellow paint. And now I can't finish my painting. Z, you didn't spill Henrietta's paint on purpose. That's right. It was an accident. But maybe you can fix that. What do you think Z should do? Should Z apologize to Henrietta? Yes! yes. Brilliant idea. Z, I think Henrietta might feel better if you apologize. You're sorry? Thanks, Z. Ah, she's not as sad anymore. She's glad Z apologized. But I still can't finish my picture. Hmm, maybe we can come up with something. Good idea, Z. We're going to look for paint for Henrietta so she can finish her picture. Come back and see what she paints. We brought more paint to help Henrietta finish her painting. I just need some yellow paint for the sun. Uh-oh. Looks like we're fresh out of yellow. I see red and green, brown and aquamarine, and some blue, but no yellow. Sorry, Henrietta. We tried. Hey, it's okay. I can use blue. You can? Sure. Look, it's a rainy day. And a ravishing rainy day it is. A marvelous masterpiece, little Miss Mole. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Nice work, Z. You really made Henrietta smile. Look at Henrietta now. How do you think she's feeling? Happy. Sensational. She does look happy. And I'm so happy you helped us out. Now it's time for Ni Hao Kai Lan. A bird told me that today was your birthday. You there. Yes, you, right there. So in honor of your special day, we want to sing a birthday song just for you. Everyone ready? Yeah. 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 Feel free to sing along. Well, today is your birthday. We're so glad you came along. Today is your birthday, so we're 
for singing this song. When you're older, when you're bigger, why? Really growing a lot. When you're older, when you're smarter, there's no telling where you'll stop. Today is your birthday, we're so glad you came along. Today is your birthday, and we're singing you this song. Make a wish. Let's head down to the shore. There's so much to explore when you find yourself beside the sea. So come out of your shell, down where the fishies dwell. There is no friend like an anemone. Beside the seaside, there's lots of fun in store for you. The seaside, let's build a castle maybe too. And don't you really wish we'll find a nice starfish or some seashells from the ocean deep? Be careful, trust me, man. Don't bug a crustacean. Crabs are crabby when they've had no sleep. Beside the seaside, there's lots of fun in store for you. Beside the seaside, let's build a castle, maybe two. Beside the seaside, now you try it. Beside the seaside. Keep searching, Z. It's bound to be around here somewhere. Greetings, thrill seekers. Z and I are on an action-packed letter safari, exploring this here jungle in search of wild and exciting letters. Would you like to come with us? Yeah! Wonderful! Z and I are looking for the daring and dazzling letter D. First, we can use our ears and listen for the letter D. The letter D makes this sound. Duh, duh, duh. Duh, duh, duh. That is definitely one dynamite D sound. Come on and help us listen for the duh, duh, D sound. Listen, I hear something. Is that the D sound? No, that's an S sound. Salutations. Yes, I'm an S. Listen, could that be the D sound? No, that's an R sound. Right you are. What's that, Z? Z hears something. Do you hear something, too? The letter D sound. Duh, duh, duh. Eureka! Duh. We found it! Duh. We discovered the sound of the letter D. Duh. Thanks for your help, Duh. brave explorers. Duh. We're definitely heading in the right Duh. direction. Duh. Follow that Duh. D sound. Hello oh, again, my courageous comrades. We're hot on the trail of the daring and dazzling letter D. We have already heard the letter D sound, but we'll know we're getting closer when we start seeing things that start with the letter D. Do you see anything that begins with the letter D? A duck! You're right! There's a duck! Duck begins with the letter D. Dig it. We're quickly closing in on the letter D. Do you see anything else that begins with the letter D? A drum! Delightful! What a dandy little drum solo, duck! Let's look for more things that start with the letter D. A dog! A donkey! A dinosaur! A dentist! Wow! So many things that start with the letter D. We must be getting close. Dig it. Ah, we do dig it, duck. We track the sound of the letter D. We follow the trail of things that start with the letter D. And now, we're getting deeper and deeper into the jungle. It's just a matter of spotting the daring and dazzling letter D. We're so close. Take a good look around. Remember, 
the letter D looks like this. Duh. Do you see Duh. it? Yeah, it's, it's over Duh. there. Duh. That's it. Duh. You found the daring and dazzling puzzle time. This super stumper is all about shapes. We need to find all the octagons hidden in this picture. Octagons are shapes with eight sides, like this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one octagon. But where are the others? There's, There's one. one. Yes, the top of the tree is an octagon. We'll find some more when we come back. Let's find some more hidden shapes. Look at this picture and tell me where the octagons are. On the policeman's hat and his badge, too. And there's one on the little boy. Outstanding job. You found three more octagons. We'll find the rest when we come back. We're on a hunt for eight-sided shapes, also known as octagons. We already found a few, but there are still more hidden in the picture. If you see an octagon, tell me where it is. On the flower. And on the little girl. The policeman's shirt is an octagon. Fantastic! Just one more to go. Where is the last octagon? The policeman's nose is an octagon. Oh, I think you're right. Let's check. Does it have eight sides? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hooray! That's it! The last, the final, the ultimate octagon. And you found it. You are a superior shape finder. Now it's time for Toot and Puddle. No matter how dark and gloomy the night, you're certain to wake up to morning's light. Whenever storms make skies rainy and gray, you can bet that sunshine will be on its way. That's why winter's reasonable, Robin can sing. He's sure in no time he'll be welcoming spring. Every beetle and bluebird and blossom knows that patience pays while the cold winds blow. Squirrels won't worry and chipmunks don't fret and the flowers have faith spring will be here yet. They know it's as close as in pods bees are so let's be as savvy as the birds and bees are. Believe in spring, it's on its way. Believe in spring, a brand new Rest assured you'll find it's true Spring is coming just for you Beneath a world all covered in snow Wait trees and flowers just aching to grow March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb Spring follows winter, that's nature's plan Some things you can count on and be certain of Trust in yourself Kindness, springtime, and love. Believe in spring, it's on its way. Believe in spring, a brand new day. Rest assured, you'll find it's true. Spring is coming just for But first, Z has some exceptionally exciting news. You tell him, Z. We're on our way to Frisco, the fire ant's birthday party. Holy moly, spicy guacamole. Don't I know it, Z? I'm excited, too. I've got the invitation right here, and it's infused with invaluable information. It tells us what we need to know to get where we want to go. Let's see. It reads, go to the red apartment building, ring the middle buzzer, and go to apartment 4A. Will do. Okay, first, let's find the red apartment building. Do you see a red apartment building? Yeah, right there. That one's red. Precisely, my perceptive pals. We found Frisco's building. We'll follow the rest of the directions on the invitation when we get back. We're on our way to Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday bash. Our invitation tells us exactly how to get to the party. We found the red apartment building. Now we have to ring the middle buzzer. 
Is this the middle buzzer? No. No, that's the top buzzer. Is this the middle buzzer? Yes. Yes, it is. That makes it Frisco's buzzer. Let's give it a buzz, buddy. Hello? Frisco, Moose Moose and ZD Bird here for the big birthday hullabaloo. In other words, we're here for the party. Hiya, Moose. Hiya, Z. Come on in. We've been waiting for you. I know. I can't wait either. My antlers are itching to party. We're just about done sorting our recycling. You've done a simply stunning job. Just one more thing down here. Uh, what in tarnation? Hey, what is my gnomes on ice juice glass doing in here? It's true, Z. I've never actually used it. I was going to use it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, you're right. We'll recycle it. Since it's made of glass, we'll put it in the glass bin. You know, you don't have to recycle it. You can reuse it, like give it to someone who really wants or needs it. Would you like this glass, Sal? It would complete my collection of Gnomes on Ice commemorative glasses. Well, Sal, this Gnome's for you. Far out. Now it's time for Max and Ruby. Class pet time. Get your eyes and ears ready. We're going to look at and listen to our cuddly little buddy Chip Chip and find out what she needs. Are your eyes ready? Yeah! yeah. Mine are. Are your ears ready? Yeah! yeah. Ready! Terrific! Hey, look at Chip Chip. Why is she pushing her food bowl like that? I don't know. Look, she's rubbing her face against her bowl. She's making a noise. I think she's hungry. My belly makes a noise when I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what should we give her? I don't know. Her ball? Some wood chips? Or food pellets? Food pellets! Yeah, she wants to eat. Hey, it's my turn to pour in her pellets. He's right, it's his turn. Here you go, Chip Chip. Do you think she likes it? Yeah! She's loud when she eats. <laughs> we did it! We fed Chip Chip! Give your eyes and ears a round of applause. You saw Chip Chip push her bowl, and you heard her making noises, and you figured out she was hungry. Will you help us take care of Chip Chip some more a little later on? Yeah! Stupendous! Now I'm hungry! Look who I see, Z. It's our busy, buzzing buddy, B. Hi there, B. Oh, hello, Moose. Hello, Z. Would you help me? I'm looking for a certain flower, but I'm just not sure which flower is which. Oh, well, I think we can help with that. Will you help B find her flower? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Okay, B. Can you tell us which flower you're looking for? Okie doke. I need to find a yellow flower. A yellow flower. Is it this one? No. 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 This is a green flower. Is this one the yellow flower? Yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. This is the yellow flower. You know your colors. There you go, B. We should do this again sometime. Oh, thank you, but... but... I'm looking for a yellow flower with a long stem. This flower has a short stem. So it does. Well, let's look at these flowers over here. Is this a yellow flower with a long stem? No. 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 This flower is indeed yellow, but the stem is quite short. How about this one? Yeah. Yeah. You're right, my fantastic flower-finding friends. Here you go, B. It's your yellow flower with a long stem. My goodness, thanks. Say, why don't you stick around? Ubi is coming up soon. I do love a good story told with buttons. Z, you made a button picture. Is that adorable antlered animal me? Thank you, Z. It's cute as a... 
Well, button. I've got a bad, bad habit, and you know it's hard to break. I got this terrible habit, and it's mighty difficult to break. You see, every time I hear a word, oh, a rhyme, I just can't help but make. Bat, hat, fat cat, I just can't keep away from rhyme. Blue shoe, do to clue, I can't stop myself, I got a rhyme. So if you say to me, poodle, oh, I'll say noodle every time. It's grating and irritating. Folks find it cloying too. But try as I might, I just can't stop myself annoying you. It's a lot like eating peanuts. It's so hard to stop at one. There's no end in sight, but it's a happy plight, cause rhyming's just so fun. I guess I blew a fuse. I've got the can't stop rhyming. Do it all the time in blue. Careful when you rhyme, folks, you might end up like me. Yeah. Be careful when you rhyme, folks, you might end up just like me. With a bad, bad case of the can't stop rhyming, do it all the time, and you might as well just chime in. there likes poems people that make up poems are called poets one way to start thinking like a poet is to make lists here I'll show you happiness is your dog's velvet ears crawling in between crisp clean sheets some piping hot cocoa on a rainy day there's so much poetry it's what makes us happy now you try making a list Thank you for helping B find the beautiful yellow flower. Beautiful? <laughs> oh, I get it. Beautiful. You know what else is beautiful? Booby is next. The time we spent has been great, but there's more to see, so just wait. The fun is all around here, so stand up and give us a cheer. You can find your friends. trial today. Monthly subscription fees apply. In books, anything can happen. Why, there's nothing too absurd. Spoons can walk. Trees can talk. I'm Pine. How are you? A moose can be friends with a bird. Funny books can make you giggle. Scary books can make you wriggle. Mysteries can get so creepy. Bedtime stories make you sleepy. Some books are hard that can't deter you. Some books seem like they're written right for you. Just put a book down in your lap and wondrous things will start to happen. Turn the pages and you'll see anything's possible in a story. I love to dive in.
into a good book. A man can chase a wily whale, a dog can grow a bunny tail, a witch can do a world of good, and anything can happen in the woods. Ooh. A wolf can wear a granny's clothes, a girl can blow a dragon's nose, a dinosaur can eat a city, a guy can go from dull to witty. Ha! What has antlers and makes you itch? A mosquito! <laughs> Just put a book down in your lap and wondrous things will start to happen. Turn the pages, then my friends, you'll never guess how this one ends. It ends like this. The end. You don't have to take them off. <laughs> Junior presents Mighty Fine Art. Welcome to the Art Museum. Let's take a stroll. I'd like to show you one of my favorite masterpieces. I like to call them Mooster Pieces. Today's Mooster Piece is a painting by an artist named Paul Clay. It's called Castle and Sun. So, let's look closely and try to find the castle and the sun. Where do you think the sun is? The circle. Up there! Stellar sun spotting! Gosh, that's really bright! So, if that's the sun, all these other colorful shapes must make up the castle. I see some blue squares. What do you see? Red rectangles, yellow triangles. You're royally right! And this castle is fit for a king! Do you think you could make a picture out of colorful shapes? Yep. Uh-huh. Fantastic! Oh, what a positively perfect picture, Z! Now that was a magnificent mooster piece! I love looking at art with you too, Z. First it's... Puzzle time! It's time for a rhyming game. In this game, we need to find words that rhyme with dog. This is the word dog. 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 So, what's something that rhymes with dog? I wonder. Log. Log, you say? Why, I do believe you're right. Log sounds like dog. They rhyme. Remarkable rhyming, everyone. We'll have some more rhyme time in just a bit. Ready for some more rhyming? We're looking for things that rhyme with dog. Here we have a frog and a cat. Which one of these rhymes with dog? Frog or cat? Frog! You've hopped to the correct conclusion. Frog sounds like dog. They rhyme. That was fun, but we're not done. There's more rhyming coming up. Z's in the mood to march. Well, what are we waiting for? Hey, friendly faces, you know you should march with Z and me to our neighborhood. Fun. Hey, march with us. The mail carrier has a letter for me. Thanks, firefighter answer helping cats in a tree. Trash, the garbage bear takes it. Great marching! Cool! It's our neighborhood where we live. Everyone's got a smile to give. And we sing to the friends we've made. Join the neighborhood parade! Come on! Police badger helps us cross the road. We get library books from the library toad. <laughs> Oh, merci! That means thanks in French. <laughs> the panda scouts are climbing a tree. This surely does feel like home to me. Teamwork forever. It's our neighborhood we're marching through. Everyone's got a job to do. And we sing to the friends we've made. Join the neighborhood parade! These boxes are heavy. Hey, who's that moving into 502? Eduardo from Kalamazoo. Thanks for the lemonade. Welcome to the block. There's so much to see. What's in your neighborhood? Can you tell me? Neighborhood. 
First it's... Puzzle time! Let's play a game with... Elephants! Check out this happy herd of elephants. Two of them are suspiciously similar. In fact, they're exactly the same. But one is different. Take a good look. We'll figure it out when we come back. It's puzzle time! We're looking at three elegant elephants. Two of them look exactly the same, but one is different. Your job is to find it. You can show it to me when we come back. First, it's puzzle time. All aboard for a letter finding game. Can you help me track down the letter R's that are hidden in this picture? First, let me remind you what the letter R looks like. Letter R's can look like this. This is a big R. Or they can look like this. This is a little R. Ready to find some R's? See if you can spot any. I see a little R right there on the rose. Right you are. There are still many more R's to be revealed. So stick around. We'll be right back. But first, it's puzzle time. Let's look for some lovely letters. In this game, we need to find the letter B's that are hidden in this picture. What does the letter B look like? Behold! The letter B can look like this. We call this Big B. Or it can look like this. We call this little fella Little B. Those are some beautiful bees. Can you spot any more? There's one, that's a big bee. Bingo! In other words, you're right. We'll look for more bees when we come back. We're on the lookout for the letter B. Can you find any letter B's in this picture? On the butterfly's wing. There's a little bee up in that tree. And there's a bee on that man's hat. Wow, you found three more bees. Let's uncover the rest when we come back. Again, my observant amigos, Moose here. We're on the hunt for the letter B. We've already discovered a few, but there are still more bees that are bound to be found. Do you see any more bees? I do, on that bug. And there's a big bee on that sign. Oh, I see a little bee on the baboon. Unbelievable. Just one bee left. Who can spot it? There it is on the backpack. Bravo! You found all of the bees. You are one lively letter finder. Toot and pop. But first, come to the park with me and my nephew, Bruce A. Moose. It's a beautiful day to come to the park, isn't it, Bruce? Yeah. Look, Bruce, it's a puppy. And that's her owner, Panda Scout. Hi, Panda Scout. Hello. Hello. That's an adorable dog you have there. Oh, I see. My nephew Bruce would like to pet this here pooch. You know, dogs can be really friendly and a real pleasure to pet, but you should never reach out and pet a dog you don't know. You should always ask for permission first. Bruce needs to ask for permission before he can pet this dog. But who should he ask? Panda Scout, the owner. Brilliant! Before Bruce can pet this pretty puppy, he has to ask the dog's owner for permission. Go ahead, Bruce. Excuse me, Panda Scout. May I pet your dog? Yes, you may. Good for you for asking. Hear that, Bruce? Don't go anywhere. My nephew is going to pet this dog in just a moment. My nephew Bruce is going to pet this puppy. He already asked the owner for permission, but he's not ready yet. The next step in successful dog petting is letting the dog get to know you. And here's how. Hold your hand out to the dog, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, she's getting to know you. What is the dog doing to get to know Bruce? Sniffing. Smelling. Sensational. She's smelling Bruce's hand. Dogs use their sniffers to get to know someone new. Look at that. I think she likes you. Come back and help Bruce finally pet this friendly Fido. 
Well, we asked Panda Scout for puppy petting permission. We let this dog get to know you. What do you say, Bruce? Are you ready to pet the puppy? Yep. I think she's ready, too. But first, we need to find out how this dog likes to be petted. Let's ask Panda Scout to show us. Go ahead, Bruce. Will you show me how to pet your dog? She likes it best if you pet her here. Where should Bruce pet the dog? Her right right ear. Under, under the doggy's ear. Stupendous. Bruce should pet the dog under her ear. That's a great place to pet a friendly dog. Nice puppy. Wow, look at that tail go. She's really happy. Now it's, it's puzzle time. Who's hungry for a letter finding game? There are a bunch of letter E's hidden in this picture. What does the letter E look like? Feast your eyes on this. We call this large fella Big E. And this small guy, this is Little E. I know you're eager to find those E's. Do you see any? I see a little E in the eggs. Exactly. We'll look for more E's in just a bit. We're keeping our eyes peeled for letter E's that are hidden in this picture. See any more? I see a big E on the elephant. There's a little E on that eagle. I see one on the sign. You are ever so clever E-finders. We'll look for even more E's when we come back. Greetings again, my excellent amigos. Moose here. We've been uncovering letter E's that are hidden in this picture. We've found a bunch so far, but there are still a few more E's to be unearthed. Do you see any more? There's a little E on that envelope. I see a big E on the menu. I see another big E in the eclair. Excellent. You found almost every E, but I still see one more. I see it in that enormous window. Well, I'll be. There's the last E. Tremendous, stupendous. In other words, great job. Toot and puddle. It Blue's Clues is coming up next. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Let's play a game with... Cats! Look at these three friendly felines, also known as kitty cats. Two of them are exactly the same, but one is not the same. It's different. Your mission is to find the one that's different. Let's look for it when we come back. It's puzzle time! Two of these cute and cuddly kitty cats are exactly, precisely, 100% the same. But one of them is unique. It's different from the others. If you look carefully, I bet you can find it. You can tell me which one it is when we come back. It's puzzle time! With three happy cats, two of them are exactly the same, but one is different. Which one is it? Is it this one, this one, or this one? That one. Outstanding. This cat is missing its stripes. These two are exactly the same. Great job. Now it's time for Blue's Clues. Hooray! Yippee! In fact, yay! It's time to recite a poem about the way a metropolis makes music and melodies. In other words, a city symphony. Now, before I begin, picture a city. A busy, bustling, big city with traffic, tall buildings, and lots of people moving to and fro on the sidewalks. Can you picture it? Great! Here goes. Tell me, have you heard the city symphony? It's a wonderful orchestra that's never off key. Listen, people talking and children walking. Stereos go bada bada, boom, boom, boom. Trucks rattle and clang and go vroom, vroom, vroom. You can hear fire engines blaring and feisty dogs barking, kids yelling and a man bellowing, hey, there's no parking. There's salsa music blasting from the window of that car. 
while the man on the corner strums, strums, strums a guitar. Babies scream, trucks selling ice cream. They go doot, diddly doot. And when traffic jams, you're sure to hear an awfully loud toot, 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 toot. Next time you walk down the sidewalk of any city street, feel the city's rhythm, the movement, the soul, the beat. I love the symphony, the sounds and songs of the city. It may be just noisy to some, but to me, it's sure pretty. And that's right, Z, the end. Those were spectacular city noises. Say, what kind of noises do you hear in your neighborhood? Read with your kids for 20 minutes every day and inspire a lifetime love of learning. But first, it's puzzle time. Let's play a letter sounds game. We're looking for things in this picture that start with the letter M. The letter M makes the hmm sound. Hey, there's a map. Map starts with the hmm sound. Map, map. Might there be other things in this picture that start with the hmm sound? The moon. Make no mistake, moon starts with the hmm sound. There are many more things that start with hmm, and we'll look for them when we come back. We're searching this picture for things that start with the hmm sound. Can you spot some? I see a mailbox. And a mouse wearing mittens. Marvelous! Mouse, mittens, and mailbox all begin with the hmm sound. Maybe we can find even more in just a bit. Back, my curious comrades. Won't you help this moose find the things in this picture that begin with the mmm sound? Might you see some? Monkey. Motorcycle. Muffin. Magnificent. Monkey, motorcycle, and muffin all start with the mmm sound. But might there be one more? I see one milk. Right you are. Milk starts with the mmm sound. Many thanks, my friends. Pack your suitcase, Z. We're going on a trip. Where are we going? Well, we can take a trip anywhere. We could trek through a tropical rainforest, ski the snowy Swiss Alps, or wear cowboy hats in Texas. Yeehaw! Tell me, where would you like to go on a trip? Ah, oh, I'd like to go there, too. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Here's a fantastically fishy memory game. First, we need to find the two yellow fish. If you see a yellow fish, tell me where it is. Right there. Good job! That's one. Now, where is the other yellow fish? There it is. Yes, outstanding! Now remember where they are, because when we come back, the game is going to get a little bit tricky. We're playing a memory game. Take a good look at these two yellow fish. When we come back, the cards are going to flip over, and you'll have to remember precisely where these two yellow fellows are. It's time to find some fishies. Ready? Yay! Okay. Where are the two cards with yellow fish on them? There's one. All right, you found one. And where's the matching yellow fish? Is this it? No. Hmm. Where could it be? There. Stupendous. You found the two yellow fish. What a mighty memory you have. Now it's time for Toot and Puddle. We're about to welcome our new neighbor, Ted Wardo, to our neighborhood. He brought a cherry tree for his backyard. I brought him a book from the library. Okay, everyone, let's give Ted Wardo a stupendous salutation. That is to say, a really warm welcome. When he opens the door, yell, Welcome, Ted Wardo! Welcome, Ted Wardo! Why, thank you. It's my neighborhood month. I'm Nick. Howdy, friends. I'd like to share some magic words with you. Words like please, thank you, and excuse me. They're such nice words to say. And when you use them, everything tends to go your way. 
I'd like to buy some of these beautiful blooms, and I need to get Flower Dog's attention. I know two wonderful words that just might do the trick. Excuse me. Say it with me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Magnificent manners. Let's wait until Flower Dog's finished talking to Panda Scout, and then say excuse me together. Excuse me. Excuse me. How can I help you? It worked! Stupendous! I would like to purchase some of these fine flowers. Let's see. So many to choose from. The narcissus are nice, and the lilacs are lovely. But I'm in the market for marigolds. When you're asking for something, it's perfectly polite to say please. Say it with me. Please. Please. Well done! Let's give this magical word a whirl. I would like one pot of these magnificent marigolds. Say please with me. Please. One pot of marigolds coming right up. It worked again. Oh, a pot of marigolds would please me so. A pleasantly pleasing pot of marigolds. Heavens to Heathcliff. They're lovely. Flower Dog was so kind to help me today. I know some magic words that would be polite to say. Thank you. Try it with me. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, my courteous comrades. Now let's say thank you to Flower Dog. Thank, thank you. you. Why, you're welcome, Moose. Wow, you're welcome. Those are mighty magical words as well. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Let's play a marvelous memory game. First, we need to find the two green apples. If you see one, tell me where it is. There's one. All right, you found one. Now, where is the other one? It's right there. Yes, siree. That's it. Now your job is to remember where they are. We'll keep playing when we come back. It's puzzle time. We're playing the memory game. Take a good look at these two grinning green apples. Remember where they are, because when we come back, the cards are going to flip over, and you'll have to remember where they are and find them again. It's puzzle time! We're playing a most amusing memory game. Are you ready? Yay! Okie dokie. Where are the two cards with green apples on them? There's one. Great! Where's the matching green apple? Is it this one? No! Hmm. Where is that other green apple? Do you remember? There! Fantastic! You did it! You found the two green apples! You are the apple of my eye! In other words, I think you're great! Now it's time for Little Bear. Puzzle time! Let's sharpen our shape skills with a hidden square game. We need to find all the squares in this picture. A square is a shape with four sides that are all the same length, like this one. One, two, three, four. Now, where are the squares? There, there's one. Correctamundo, you found one, and you can find the rest when we come back. Puzzle time! We're searching for squares in this puzzling picture. We've already found two. That is to say, a pair of squares. Let's find some more. Tell me, where are the squares? There's one on the house, the window. I see one on the frog. On the mailbox. Stupendous! Now we're aware of three more squares. We'll find the rest when we come back. I have an idea, chums. Let's try counting these arms again. But this time, let's do it backwards. Count backwards with me, starting from eight. Eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, three two, two, one. I am impressed. When 
when it comes to counting, you are a splashing success. Go first, it's puzzle time. Let's play a game with baby birds. Here we have three baby birds, also known as chicks. Two of them look exactly the same, but one is different. To play the game, see if you can figure out which baby bird is different. You can show it to me when we come back. It's puzzle time! With a few feathered friends, two of these baby birds are exactly the same. But one is different. Look very closely. Which one is different? Come on back and we'll figure it out together. It's puzzle time! Back with our three baby birds, which are sometimes called... Chicks! Two of these cheerful chicks look exactly the same, but one is different. Which one is it? Is it this one, this one, or this one? That one! Outstanding! This baby bird's beak is a different color. These two are identical. They're Puzzle time! It's time for a rhyming game. In this game, we need to find words that rhyme with sock. This is the word sock. 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 Now, what do we have here? A clock. Why, so it is. Hey, sock and clock sound alike, don't they? They rhyme. Let's look for more rhymes in just a bit. Welcome back. Ready to find more things that rhyme with sock? Here we have a bat and a block. Which one of these rhymes with sock? Bat or block? Block. Brilliant. Block sounds like sock. They rhyme. Don't go away. There'll be more rhyme time in just a bit. Hello again, my fabulous friends. Moose here. We're looking for things that rhyme with sock. Won't you join me? Now, here are three more things. A car, a dog, and a rock. Which one of these things rhymes with sock? Car, dog, or rock? Rock. You are so bright. You got it right. Rock and sock sound the same. In other words, they rhyme. Oh, well, we've no more time for finding rhymes. Olivia is up next. We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. It's thrilling to be filling with such wild anticipation. Packing the suitcases and counting off the days is nearly as exciting as the actual vacation. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? My excitement's getting stronger. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I really can't wait much longer. We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Days and nights with lots of sights. I hope we go by plane. Meeting some new faces and going to new places. By bus, by car, or even boat. Perhaps we'll take a train. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? My excitement's getting stronger. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I really can't wait much longer. I love letters. They tell us what sounds to say and make the words we write. And just thinking about them keeps me up at night. They can be big or small, short or tall. They're letters. And I love letters so much that I wrote them, well, a love letter. Hit it, Z. There's A, B, C, D, E, and then comes F. F's for sure a favorite. It makes words hard to forget, like finger food and family, friend and fascinate. Flamingo, fish, and fairy. Letter F, you're just first rate. There's G, H, I, J, then my old friend K. Starting sounds and words I love to say. 
like kitty kiss and kangaroo, kaleidoscope and koala. Hey, you're king of consonants. Wherever you go, I'll follow. Letters. I love letters. Lovely letters from A to Z. 26 in all, short and tall. Dear letters, you're everything to me. There's L, M, N, O, P, Q, and then there's R. Really regal R. You're an alphabetic star in rhombus, rabbit, reptile, rose, and rain. R, you're great. I'll reiterate. That is, I'll say it again. S, T, U, V, W, X, and Y. Now on to the very last letter. It's one that makes me sigh. Ah, oh, this is such a letter. Perfect way to end. Z is a dazzling letter. And Z's my very best friend. Ah, oh, Z. Letters. I love letters. Lovely letters from A to Z. 26 in all. Short and tall. I love you every day. Without you, I'd have nothing to say.